Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You guys seen the title? Angel Garcia has now been banned from speaking at Thurman Garcia, Garcia Thurman press related events. And things are getting pretty blown up with this whole situation. Now, I'm gonna be a straight shooter. When it initially happened, I was just like, wow, it's crazy, things are getting crazy. And I didn't really think much of it. I was like, man, this is some WWE buildup. I did think, however, Angel Garcia was doing a bit much in this particular one because it got to the point where he was yelling and his microphone wasn't even picking up. It was so distorted. If you go to Showtime's Facebook, they have the, the actual live stream of it. And it, it sounded like Charlie Brown. You know what I'm saying? And he was like hugging the mic or something. And his sound check was off because it was real distorted. Plus he was yelling. So it couldn't pick up that type of, I don't know. It just sounded too much, like it had too much gain. So I did see him doing like that. I was like, he's like, I the And I thought it was a little bit more over the top, but I didn't think it was all this. You have ESPN, they're writing articles. Dan Rayfield wrote an article, throw the book at Angel Garcia. You had Lou DiBella, who actually spoke out against this as well. He took to his social media, and a lot of people are coming down on him. I didn't, to me, honestly, I really didn't think it would escalate to this. This is the tweet from Lou DiBella. In words, homophobic epithets and anti-immigrant rhetoric have no place at a boxing press conference or anywhere else right now again i wasn't there live so i didn't get to see maybe all of it because there were portions of it that i did not know about like because i was like oh okay you just first of all let me let me break down the n-word right <sighs> this is this is this is tough tupac explained it best in that documentary tupac resurrection he was talking to MTV and then he was like, yeah, I was in prison. And they were like, you N-I-G-G-E-R. And he was like, oh my gosh, you hear the officer? You hear what he just called me that? And everyone was like, so? And then the Tabitha Soren, I think with MTV, the old VJ, she was like, well, you say that word all the time. What's the difference? And people don't understand. And, and Pac, he had the best way of saying it. He said, guh is the cool dude hanging out in front of the club with gold ropes. Nigger is the guy with a rope around his neck hanging from the tree. Like that's the difference. Like there's two different the uh, connotations of it, right? And we can break down semantics and stuff like that. The word is, I mean, this is, I live in the Bay Area. So like, you know I mean? There's some rough parts over here. Richmond, North Richmond, Oakland, Seminary, Frisco. You know what I mean? We got some rough areas out here. So in, if you go to certain parts, you do see people who are not of African-American descent using the the n-i-g-g-a version of nobody should be using like the golden boy emails the n-i-g-g-e-r that because we know what that means and people try to throw it up hey why can you say it with the er if you guys are like no that's not, that means something totally different like it like people over the years flip the with the a ending right so i mean realistically it is what it is i don't even want to really re talk about my thoughts because it's it's irrelevant People use it. People who who aren't black or African American use the N I G G A word, and some people have an issue with it. Some people don't, right? So it all depends. I mean, what do you? So many people I've seen white, like rappers and stuff, use it. So what are you gonna do? Go around and beat up everybody that's saying it? Like you know what I'm saying? Some people. And then so the other thing is, it's it's just a. I don't even know how to explain it, man. But. Some people like are around a group of people who use it, who have the quote unquote right to use it and they give them a pass. So it's, it's no real way to police that word for me. I don't think I don't know Andrew Garcia. I don't know his intent. I didn't take it as he was trying to be racist. This is a dude that I think used to push drugs. 
he's from philly definitely has rough parts in philly some hood areas and stuff like that so to me i thought he was just from the hood and he was just using the word and the other thing is people are flipping i've heard angel garcia say this several times several times you know what i'm saying you you a bit you a nick you know what i'm saying i've heard him say it so i don't understand why people are acting like this is the first time they've ever heard him say it but i i didn't personally take it like he was the to me what he said to terrence crawford would be more like controversial he called him a nappy headed little boy running around the amateurs or something like that so that's closer to like the don imus i can understand more so people taking offense to that because that's what don imus did these nappy headed hoes or whatever he was talking about right but i mean angel's angel that's what he did he elected to do this but that's that's my little that he i don't think he was doing it in the same whoever was writing them letters to golden boy them emails i don't personally think he was meaning that i think that's it's him like showing he's down or whatever like he's from the hood like i don't think he was writing it with the same intent like al Heyman is the black hitler he's a you know what i'm saying Nigger. like i don't think he was doing it like that i thought he was just using like hood slang but again i'm not him I don't know and some people don't like it anyway they look at like man you're not you're not supposed to be saying that at all and i could respect that too so i mean it's a touchy subject there's no real right especially like i said when you got hood dudes they give other people a pass for using the word and you know what i mean and then people get comfortable and start using it everywhere like i said i heard rappers white rappers on track rec recorded tracks on wax use the word you know what i'm saying and some people buy the album or support it, right? I think Kraya Sean, she's from out here, that the white girl, she did it, and Lil Debbie and all these people. So, and, and then it was co-signed kind of by Mr. Fab. So, I mean, like I said, there's no right or wrong, but I mean, obviously, if people are intolerant to it or feel offended, then there's something you have to deal with and analyze. You have to deal with the scrutiny that comes with it, kind of like Pacquiao. Pacquiao said, um, Tutu, I believe uh, gays are, they're worse than that animal, kill him. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be saying that. And then now he's under fire. So, I mean, I don't really care if he uses it, don't uses it. At the end of the day, he has to deal with the scrutiny. He has to deal with the hate mail and everything that comes with it. So, I don't know. That's that. But in addition, I learned that there was other parts that he did that I didn't know. Because again, I was like, man, people are really blowing this up. They're saying he's racist and this. I was like, wow. But there are other things he did that were out of line if, if this is true. So Mayweather's publicist, and she she really is a publicist for like all the PBC, I think, and a lot of fighters, but long time Kelly Swanson, right? And I guess she was trying to de-escalate the situation. And I, apparently the the word is that Angel Garcia looked at her like, like stay out of this, I'm gonna jack you up. Like, if you don't shut up or whatever, you don't get out of my way, you gonna get it. I'm gonna jack you up. That's the, the quote that is being thrown around that allegedly Angel Garcia said. So, uh, not, not necessarily a good situation for Angel Garcia because now through the, the mind games and stuff like that, he's created such a whirlwind. They're talking about he's not um, allowed to speak anymore. And... I don't know. It was entertaining, but now, you know what I mean? Who knows what the buildup is going to be? But I guess they're not letting the teams speak, only the fighters. Um, maybe at this point, Danny Garcia should should check his dad or tell him, like, yo, take it down a couple notches. Maybe you're doing too much. You know what I mean? I don't know if Danny Garcia gets embarrassed. I mean, they've asked him stuff like that in the past. And he was like, oh, this is my dad. That's how he's been. That's how he is. He's an expressive person. And, you know what I mean? He loves me, so he gets emotional. So... I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, but I mean, I don't I don't think the man is racist per se. You guys can say whatever, but again, I understand if people don't want the N-word used and don't want certain people to use it, you know what I mean? It's it's a free country, but I do think to a degree there's um this society is becoming very very like soft in the in the sense of like everything is offensive, right? If I say Canelo shouldn't face Liam Smith. People in the comment section, you're racist. What did I say? That's racist. Like, because I don't want to see Canelo Smith. You know what I mean? Oh, Pacquiao shouldn't fight Jeff Horn. You're a racist. You're a racist, man. Like, what did I say that was racist to Australians, 
to Filipino people. I haven't said anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I do think to a degree the the society we live in, they embellish and it's like they're uber sensitive. If you do like something that's not even that big, and I'm not saying this is not this has nothing to do with Angel Garcia. Now I'm just saying like like I said, if you critique a fighter, they say you're racist. I'm like what? You only like black fighters. It's not my fault. If there's a lot of black fighters that happen to be dominant. You know what I mean? But that's not where the buck stops. If you're a Lomachenko, if you're a good fighter, you get props straight up. But I don't know. It doesn't look good. I don't know what's going to happen with the rest of the press related stuff. The one thing that I was thinking about after when I was hearing how, how it escalated, this fight might have been better on Showtime. I think that's another reason why they're coming down even harder because this is on CBS. So you got to keep in mind, this is free TV. So CBS who has a life outside of boxing, they don't have to focus on boxing. They have original series and dramas and actual actors and news and stuff like that. Their their world is not boxing, but they gave boxing an opportunity to be showcased in front of a ton of people on their network. And you you might have to, to calm it down and tone it down a little bit. You know what I mean? When Broner was on, um, he fought on NBC, I think it was, against John Molina. He seemed like toned down. You have to you have to respect the rules. They have the FCC and different censorships and stuff because free TV versus Showtime is totally different. If you have Showtime cameras rolling, you could probably cuss and, and get away with a little bit more. But on free TV, you don't know who's watching. It could be kids and stuff like that. So Angel Garcia has to think about stuff like that. The network. This is the opportunity for Garcia Thurman, which is a meaningful, good ass fight, to be showcased. Errol Spence on NBC did six million, so maybe it can do four, six, eight million total viewers based on the type of fight and if it has the proper buildup. So you don't want to do anything that potentially um, spoils that. Even if you're trying to get in the other person's head to like fuck them off from their game plan or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just kind of covering it in case some people didn't know some of the details and and some people wanted my thoughts on it. I mean, there's not really, there's not like a formal thing to say. People feel how they feel about it, and it is what it is. So, therefore, Angel Garcia, he has, to, he has to watch it. But the reason, I've seen, like, Angel Garcia, I did a video about it. He was at the shooting range, and he's like, Hey, Thurman, Thurman, this is how we're going to do you, youngin. And then he pointed at the target and started clapping, like, bah, 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 with like an AR or whatever gun he had. You know what I'm saying? So this is not nothing new to me. Angel Garcia has always been wild and crazy. I mean, his his handle on Instagram is at crazy ass angel or something like that. So he's always been new. He said he called Amir Khan Aladdin. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what's so why people are acting so brand new. Like Angel Garcia just started using the N word or started saying stuff about racism. Um, I remember I think Fight Hub has an interview and he was going crazy on on the host and he was like, "Oh fuck the Valentinos." He's like, oh, you American when you get that welfare check. You American then, but you don't want to support American fighters. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. He, he's been doing all this stuff, so I don't understand why everyone's acting all shocked. Like like he was just um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. And then all of a sudden, he had a squeaky clean image, and then he just came out saying all this stuff. I mean, but like I said, maybe Danny Garcia needs to talk to his dad. I don't know. But you, you they, they, the people who are complaining there is a, a valid point in the sense of like he's talking about immigration and immigrants being here like what does that have to do with garcia Thurman? you know what i'm saying like that that type of stuff you're just asking for trouble you know what i mean talk about politics that's why you don't really see that at press conferences who you vote for you vote for trump you vote for hillary you don't really see that because there i was always taught in school i had this one teacher that told me they said there's certain things that are kind of hardened in, in, in stone and you're not going to be able to convince people otherwise so it's, it's pointless to argue they said religion death penalty and abortion i think those are the three things that they said yeah and there might have been another one i might be missing but they said no matter what you can argue with someone for 14 hours about religion but you probably won't be able to change their views and their viewpoints on it right so i don't know it seemed like it was getting blown out of proportion, but I do understand. I do understand aspects of it, like it being on CBS national TV. Don't do anything to spoil it. You have to tone it down probably a little bit more, especially with CBS cameras rolling. Um, if if he threatened 
Kelly Swanson, the PR lady, a lady in general, that's out of pocket. And then like talking so much out of turn where no one can even hear. And it's just like, you're interrupting. You know what I mean? That has to be some level of class and professionalism, but I don't know. Maybe he's seen Derek Chisora versus Dillian White press conference and said, Oh, I'm about to turn up too. Cause they were doing, I mean, that, that was to a degree that was unprofessional too. No one's talking about immigration or whatever, but they're throwing tables. You know what I mean? What if somebody, a trainer got hit or something, you know what I mean? Conor McGregor was throwing bottles and shit at Nate Diaz's entourage as they left and he got fined for it. And people aren't really bringing that up. I mean, he got fined, but that's through the state. That's through the athletic commission. That's not from the writers. The writers aren't condemning him. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts on it. Who do you want to win? Who do you see winning? The other thing is I would probably make it a, a, a huger deal if, or a bigger deal if I never heard Angel Garcia do this and it was shocking. Or if Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman didn't even seem like he was bothered with the, the N-word or whatever. He's like, yeah, I can talk, talk, talk. Yep, yep, okay. He didn't seem like he was tripping. Like, he, he just considered it the art of war. So, I have mixed feelings about it. It just depends on what subject. I try my best to outline it. Let me know what you guys think. Angel Garcia will not be allowed to speak leading up to the fight at the podium. Drop in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.